Council for the we had some discussion about the CMU project. And in particular, in the course of that discussion, uh, General Counsel was asked to review whether uh, it was our opinion that uh, it's legally permissible for the district to pursue that project. Now, uh, and we have done that investigation. Uh, we're not going to be addressing your tonight uh, matters of finance. I'm not going to be addressing matters of priority of projects and, and the policy implications of projects. Uh, but rather just focusing uh, purely on the legal authorities for the district to participate in a program such as the CNG. Um, in summary, our, our conclusion is that the district does have sufficient legal authority to participate in the CNG project, um, provided though that it is uh, properly um, organized or structured uh, consistent with uh, community services district laws. We think, in fact, what the district could do, if it was so inclined, is to organize itself in a way uh, to take advantage of the, the land asset that it has, the site that's been identified, to enter into agreements with other participants who are interested in that, and then develop a, a lease um, with uh, a uh, developer operator to operate how are the runners looking this year? They had a convincing win last night. Sure did. We uh, uh, played uh, Alabama Valley Christian. Uh, they had a lot of players. This is the first time they'd ever seen a basketball floor, and uh -huh. uh, they were just—they're brand new to the sport, so they didn't give us a whole lot of uh, competition. Right. Uh, but they sure played hard, and they, they, uh, the coach over there, Coach Cook, he does a good job. He'll have them ready by the end of the year, but. We caught them at a good time, let's put it that way. Uh, okay. How many returning seniors this year? We've got one, two, three, four. Uh-huh. Four, just four. So uh -huh. we were, well, five, really. We've got, uh, uh, so far, I think we have 22 games uh -huh. scheduled this far. We played Lancaster Baptist in a scrimmage game. Uh, a week ago, we beat them pretty handily, 64 to 26. Mm -hmm. And then last night, we won 64 to 9. So mm -hmm. we're on a good roll. We're doing yeah. really well. <laughs> Earlier this year, in February, this valve was turned to open the Roseman Semi Tropic Water Bank out here on 150th Street. Right now, you see along the top of the frame is a new pipeline being put uh, through the old water bank up to the new expansion water bank. Uh, you're inspecting all these welds these guys are doing, and what are you looking for? Looking for unevenness. Okay. Not leaks? The testing does the leaks. Aha, uh -huh, I see. And that's air testing. You're doing an air test and a soap test. And a soap test, both. Yes. Uh -huh. The soap test does the uh, looking for bubbles if there's a leak. Sure, sure. The air test pressure gives us, tells us whether there is a leak. I see, I see. And take a look at the welds inside to make sure they're even. Uh-huh. Do you crawl or do you have a little cart? Crawl. Oh. Uh. 36 inch pipe. How many uh, lengths of pipe do you guys lay during a uh, shift? 30 to 35. 30 to 35. How long do you think it's going to take to uh, complete this line to the second uh, part of the water bank? February 18th is our, is our deadline. Supposed to have it all done by then, huh? Yep. Yeah, I see. And as the digging, it looks like it's pretty easy. I don't see a lot of rocks or anything. No, it's pretty sandy and, and silky. So yeah. it's going pretty, pretty good. Uh -huh. This pipe all has to be welded from the inside, right? It gets welded on the outside and the inside. Okay. And then we wrap, up, we, we, uh, wrap the outside with a diaper and uh -huh. pour grout into it. And then on the inside, we put a grout and uh, trowel it down smooth and put a seal on it. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> Yeah, that was about number five. You go to 
R H S, right? Yes, I do. So, what, do you play any sports here? I play basketball and I run track. Oh, so um, right now it's basketball season, isn't it? Yes. Um, what what team are you on? I'm on the girls varsity team. So how are you liking it so far this year? I'm actually really liking the really? varsity varsity. So Barbara, what do you think about your teammates and your coaches? Um, my teammates are good. Like they're good to work with. So we all can, you know, do really good on communicating. And our coach, like, she's really good. She knows what she's doing. She played for this school, so I think she's gonna lead us to the championship. So. Ton of players, that's for sure. Coach Ramos tells me you're going to be junior, the starting um, goalkeeper this year. Yeah, I am. Uh huh. That's good. Have you played goal before? Yeah, I played my freshman year when we won, and then my sophomore year last year. I see. Good. Yeah. And uh, what kind of team you think you guys got this year? We got a really good team this year. We got better over summer. Uh huh. Indoor. And we got some new players that are coming in to help us. Coach Ramos, uh, you've got a smile on your face. Is this going to be a good season for uh, news in the Rosemont News? I think it's going to be an exceptional season for the Rosemont News. Good. We have a great team this year. We start um, this uh, next Tuesday. We play uh, Little Rock here. Uh -huh. um, and then we play uh, Highland here also on Friday. Who are the boys to watch this year? Uh, we you have some returning have, uh, seniors? Several returners from the CIF team that were freshmen and sophomores at the time. Uh -huh. uh, so we've got uh, John Rodriguez, Pachi. Sure. He's one of the captains of the team. We've got Oscar Sanchez, who's a freshman at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, George Diaz. Uh -huh. uh, Levi DiCaprio is a wonderful uh, defensive addition. Uh, uh -huh. He started last year with us. Sure. And then, sure. of course, Alex Harley, the boy from Togo, Africa. And uh, sure. you know, Jonathan Opazo. Lots of boys. How'd you like that win, John? Tell you what, that's why I ain't got any hair. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Little Rock always brings a quality club to our tournament, and uh, G Coach My Red has them playing us. They just never give up. All right, this is the end of the cross country season. Uh, here we have the um, league's MVP, Urban Velasquez. He's a senior, and he's going to tell us what he thought about his last year in high school. Urban, what'd you think about the, your last year in cross country? Last year in cross country was great. It was an experience that actually changed my life because we had so much. We had competition during our actual just invites, but we didn't have competition during our league, which made us actually like work a lot harder when we had nobody out there. But we managed to go to the CIF pre prelim. Go ahead, jump in. This taxiway was built um, about six years ago, and. If you can see the construction equipment down there, the spaceship yeah. company is building a new 62,000 square foot hangar. Uh-huh, okay. So here we are in this economy. Our airport is 100% occupied. Yeah. And we're building 62,000 with a new hangar. Yeah. Gulfstream 111 Gulf South the Mojave Tower. Runway 8 in use, runway 12 is available. Winds are 050 at 10. Altimeter 3024, report entering class Delta. This is your main runway. Yes, 12,500 by 200. Uh huh. What size of plane will that take? Any size. Any size. 747 could land here. Yes. This is his runway is 15,000 feet, so we're only 2,500 foot less than it. I see, sure. So the shuttle, the Concorde, any plane known right. to man could, could land on this runway. That's correct. Soft tire trucking, uh huh. Uh, hair, obviously, and and rail. Sure, sure. So what was the company doing this? Progress Rail. Progress they Rail. Nineteen acres, and they, uh huh. They, after ever so many hours or miles or whatever, the the train wheels need to be re re rounded. Oh, I see. And the hubs greased up and everything. Uh huh. That's what they do that here. I see. And there's their. The, the, look at that. Nice. Look at them painting their engine. Yeah. This building here is where Bert first started his first company, his hand aircraft factory, RAF. Uh, really? In half of this building. Uh -huh. Him and Mike Melville and Dick. DWP, watch frequency change room to have a safe flight. Now look, he's at 23 facilities now. 23. <laughs>